Welcome back, people. What'd you think of that? Putting my intros on the at the beginning, it's an intro, <laughs> at the beginning of my commentary, as opposed to doing the intros on Tuesday and my commentaries towards the end of the week. What do you think of that combination? Now, this is not my idea. I learned it from another channel I watched, so I'm stealing this idea, and I will give the man credit here in a second. But I think I will do it this way now instead of the intro one day and the commentary the next day, mainly because me putting up two videos a week is not going to be practical anymore because of my schedule. And I want to at least keep the once a week or at least every 10 days schedule going. So. I also, as you know, want to mix things up. So the intro at the beginning, uh, or the intro at the beginning, that's why it's called an introduction, because it's at the beginning. The intro attached to the commentary, I'm, I'm liking that. I can play with the intros more and do some different stuff to it. So I think I'm going to keep that format. It won't be on every single video, because as you guys well know, I like diversity. I don't like throwing the same stuff up time and time and time and time and time and time and time again. I just don't like making them, and I think they get a little bit boring. Now, where did I get this idea? Unfortunately, someone has the same type of setup I have, which is disheartening, but, you know, well, I know I'm not the only one out there. Well, I got this idea from a commentator named Newbie of Duty, and he is in cahoots with our buddy Stang from MGC, Quick Guns, and Cap. They are, start, they are starting a new community channel called uh, Nerds Reloaded. And I mention this because I am thinking about submitting a video to these guys and maybe joining their community. One of the, They have three requirements to do this. First requirement, subscribe to the channel. Nerds Reloaded. Done that. Second requirement, make a video post it to my channel, mentioning them, which I have just done, and put a link in the description. So there will be a link in the description. So, part two has been met. Part three of joining said community, if I decide, is to create another video and upload it with privately and send them the URL so that they can post it to their channel, their community channel. So I am thinking about doing this. I have thought about it for a while, and a while being I've thought about it ever since Yoush uh, was created. If no one's familiar with Yoush, it's the same idea. It's a community based on helping small channels get noticed. And their resources are great. They've even got uh, thousands of uh, songs you can choose from for your videos to help you do your commentaries. And I'm hoping Nerds Reloaded goes in that kind of direction. I have no idea what these four gentlemen have in mind. And I apologize for mentioning two competitors, but hey, there's a lot of different things out there. So I'm going to bring different things to the table or mention different things so that uh, people know about as much as they can and make their own minds up, right? And here's why I'm debating joining any kind of community, is I probably have the smallest channel on YouTube for as long as I've been on YouTube. I've been on YouTube over two and a half years, and I realized the first year was strictly videos, no commentary. And then, of course, Dogs helped me get into this whole commentary thing. So you can blame him. Uh, and I have to admit, I, I like being small. I really do. I like being small. I, I just feel a little more connected to the subscribers, whether that be uh, a fantasy in my mind or the actual truth. Who's to say? But anyway... I want to say thank you to you guys for sticking around. And I also would like to apologize for some of the crap commentaries that I have put up. You guys are uh, what's what, thick-skinned 
for dealing with some of the crap that I can put up. And yes, there's been crap out there. I'm not afraid to admit it. But let's take it as part of my diversification or diversity of my channel. I got good stuff and I got bad stuff. Good gameplay, bad gameplay, good commentaries, and total crap commentaries. One of the ones that comes to mind is my, uh, what do you call it, Alduin, when I killed Alduin. Oh, man, that had to have been the worst commentary I've ever done. So I would like to say to my subscribers right now, thank you very much for sticking around. And I see that my commentary has gone on a little bit longer than I had anticipated. I'm running out of some video here. So what you're watching is some Black Ops 2. I'm running my favorite weapon, the FAL. This was recorded back in December, so I believe that is pre-patch. Running the FAL, ACOG, selector switch. I'm going after the reticle, the pyramid reticle for the ACOG. I really like that, that reticle. Uh, one, it just looks cool. Not that it helps me aim any better, because as you guys all know, I can't aim worse shit. So, this commentary is now over. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with this creative ending, and it's not working. So, thank you very much for watching, people. I'm going to blame this defeat on dogs. He was dragging his feet, but it is a total victory over dogs, because I get more kills and less deaths than him. And you guys all know about that whole situation there between dogs and I. You guys all take care, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.